Hey guys, this is a lesson on differentials. So let's just, just, just get right into it. So dy dx, so this stands for the derivative and it's not supposed to be considered a ratio. But now let me throw a little <laughs> the curveball into this. So dy and dx, those actually have their own separate notation. And when their ratio exists, then it is the derivative. <laughs> so you can have dy and dx be separate and then they can equal this. Um, so, it, but this itself, this in and of it itself is not separable. So hopefully that, that makes uh, sense. It's kind of a strange thing I know. So let's talk about what is a differential. Um, so dy and dx are both differentiable, differentials. So f of x is a differentiable function. So we say dx and dy are differentials and they are defined like this. And so just so that you're viewing this in the right way, so we consider dx to be something independent and then dy is always dependent on your choice of dx. So this formula is like really straightforward. In fact, it might not even feel like you're, you're doing anything with it. So just to kind of quickly cover this with you. So if I asked you to find dy, so what you would do is you would just say that dy equals, and then you take the derivative. So this, in this case, this would be five X to the fourth and then dx. So this would be your differential. So this literally just looks like I know the, the derivative with um, just the differential is attached on. So it really is that simple just to, to evaluate it. And so if I wanted to do this again with B, so I've got um, F of X equals the natural log of X. So my DY in this case would be one over X DX. And then that would be it. So differentials are really as simple as derivatives to calculate. But the reason that we like them, so we can actually use this formula of differentials for estimation. So I'll just show you how this works. So let's say I want to take 8.1 to the one third. So I want to take the cube root of this. So we know that it's easier to estimate with eight. And if I asked you to do that estimation, so you would probably say like, well, it's really eight and one third and then plus some, some extra stuff, right? So this idea though, that we know that it's just a little bit over eight this is actually the, this, this some extra part, I guess is what I'm saying is that this is the differential. So we're going to figure out how do we get to that part. So notice then that I am about 0.1 away from eight. So that little change there, that is actually what our, our DX is. So our DX is, is going to be 0.8. So now I can use my, my differential formula. So remember that was my differential formula. So I want to use this assuming that my function in this case is X to the one third. So then if I want to find my differential, I know that this will be one third X to the negative two thirds DX. And now I can fill in some of this information. So I can fill in my eight and then I can fill in my DX. And then that will basically get me to what I'm looking for, for that, that some extra part. So if I plug all of this in and then this times 0.1, I get one over 12 times 0.1, which is a very tiny number, zero, zero, 0 0.0083 and some change. Okay. So now if I want to do this, this estimation, so going back to this idea that it's, it's like estimating this is really estimating eight and one thirds and then having a little bit extra left over. This will be two plus that 0 0.0083. So that would be my estimate by using differentials. So just to show you that one more time. So now let's say that I want to estimate the square root of 3.8. So once again, so we know that it would be easier to do an estimate with the, with four. So I'd really say it's like, oh, well, it's like four and then just minus like a little bit of extra, something extra. So in this case, then if I want to figure that out, what this means is I'm going to use my DX as negative 0.2. So four is kind of my anchoring point and then I'm minus 0.2 away from that. So I can once again come up with my differential. So my F prime of X DX. So I need to view this as the function as the square root of X. So then my differential is going to be 
1 half x to the negative 1 half dx, and now I can fill in the information I wanted to use. So I'll have dy equals 1 half times the square root of 4, all of this times negative 0 0.2. So that equals negative 0 0.05. And so when I said earlier that I knew I would have to subtract something off, that's actually what I just ended up finding, right? So this will end up becoming, I take 2 plus, or really 2 minus 0 0.2. 0, 0.05, so then this comes out to 2 point, oops, 1.95. And if you're just curious as to how good is this, this estimate, so if I actually look at the real value of the square root of 3.8, this came out to 1.94936, it just continues. So 1.95 is a pretty good estimate. So that's, that's like the, the thing that you can do with differentials. And so that covers it, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.